Due to the high demand for fossil fuels on the international markets, as well as the aggravation of environmental problems caused by an increased number of internal combustion engine vehicles, battery-powered electric vehicles are starting to play a significant role in today's automotive industry. These vehicles represent a solution for the future in the road transportation field, taking into consideration the interest in reducing greenhouse gas emissions, as well as air and sound pollution. Despite overall advantages, car companies are all too aware of the lithium-ion battery limitations. They are fragile, and there's nothing to do with flammable and highly corrosive electrolytes. Also, they are subject to aging. Even if not in use, most EV batteries last 10 years max. Then they have to be replaced, and they are so expensive to manufacture. Once electric cars began to gain market interest, these issues became opportunities to dominate the market. The solution will be worth billions, and a range of startups often backed by automakers are touting their early successes. But time has shown that they are not commercially viable, and they have never seen the light of day. The reward will go to those who have faster charging, longer lifespan, and safer batteries. Toyota is quietly working on solid-state batteries, and recently QuantumScape announced a little R&D victory of its own solid-state battery efforts. On the other side, Tesla announced its new tablet battery cell. Yet all of them still have hurdles to overcome in longevity and scaling up to mass production. Let's examine what we know so far about Toyota's new technology and compare it with Tesla's 4680 battery cells. And if you want to learn more about the QuantumScape solid-state battery, how lithium-ion and solid-state batteries work, we have more videos on those topics. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to get access to all the exclusive collections we have and more to come in the future. With all of these potential drawbacks in mind, it's great to see a large amount of investment and in R&D in this area. Toyota is playing a big role in the car making industry. In 2010, Toyota acquired a $50 million stake in Tesla, and then the company started to jointly develop RAV4 electric vehicles in Canada in 2011, and later sold about 2,500 units over three years amid culture clashes and recalls. You know, we're going to be providing the powertrain for the mm -hmm. electric RAV4 okay. uh, that's due out in, in 2012. Um, and we also purchased um, the Numi plant, which was 50% owned by Toyota. Uh, and, Congratulations. Uh, thanks. And then also the, there was the, the Toyota invested 50 million at the IPO. Yeah. So I think um, we certainly have great votes of confidence um, right. and, and, valid, and validation from... Yes, you do. You know, in the case of Daimler, Daimler is the, co the company that invented the internal combustion engine car. In the case of Toyota, they are the biggest car company in the world uh, and the leader in hybrid technology. Um, to have both, you know, such great partners is, I think, a, a strong great. endorsement of Tesla. Yeah. They realize that leading the market can only be done with a core technology of electric vehicles, batteries. From there, Toyota started to cooperate with Panasonic to establish a joint venture this year to produce prismatic lithium-ion batteries, solid-state batteries, and next-generation batteries for electric vehicles. Given that they now own more than 1,000 patents on solid-state batteries, and that Japan created a $19 billion green fund that includes investments in solid-state technology, it's not surprising to see them lead the way. A solid-state battery is a rechargeable battery in which the electrolyte is in the solid state rather than the liquid or gaseous state. This means that they have a very high energy density, can be discharged and charged rapidly, and have no flammable components. According to the reports, Toyota's solid state batteries will be able to run up to 500 kilometers on one charge, and the charging process will only take around 10 minutes with minimal safety concerns. Moreover, Toyota claims that these batteries will provide double the range of traditional lithium-ion batteries under the same conditions. Toyota was going to unveil this solid-state technology last year during the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, but because of the pandemic, the big reveal was delayed until this year. Currently, this battery is still in the research and prototyping stage. It's not suitable for certain applications, and it needs further development to make it viable on a large scale. And it will take some time before these technologies can prove that they can compete with lithium-ion batteries on price, real-world usability, scale, durability, and infrastructure. So it's not a viable battery tech yet. But it is expected that Toyota will start production on a large scale by 2030. 
Also, Toyota is planning to unveil an EV prototype with solid-state batteries later this year. To know how hard it is to produce a car with this technology, there is an Italian company called Automobilia Estrema that has just vouched to start producing electric vehicles with solid-state technology in just two years. This car will cost $2 million, which means the cost issue of solid-state batteries has been solved. And for production issues, they are only going to produce 20 of those per year. On the other side, Tesla is already leading the global EV market. At Tesla's Battery Day event, it was revealed that the pilot plant building these new batteries will take one year to reach 10 gigawatt hours per year. Considering the future production, this is what Elon said while visiting Giga Berlin. But there's a bunch of innovative stuff that we'll be doing here that uh, we'll tell, tell you about in, in the future. It's, it's not just um, you know a copy of the, the Model Y, it's, it's actually a radical redesign of the core technology of building a car. Um, and some of this, when I do Battery Day um, later in September, I'll talk about what we're going to be doing here in Berlin, but it'll be the first time that there's going to be a trans transformation in the uh, core structural design of the vehicle. Uh, it's quite, it's quite, quite a big thing. Um, so it's, it's a, like I said, both manufacturing, uh, engineering and design as well. Regardless of the bureaucratic hell issue that Tesla faces right now in Giga Berlin, this will be the largest battery cell plant in the world with a capacity of over 100 gigawatt hours per year, which could possibly go over 200 to 250 gigawatt hours in the future. So by the time Toyota starts its production at a large scale, Tesla will be producing almost three terawatt hours of batteries per year. At the same time, Panasonic is the sole provider of lithium ion batteries for Tesla for EVs manufactured in the US. And yes, Panasonic is double timing Toyota and Tesla. It is one of the most experienced companies in battery manufacturing, and it has been mass-producing lithium-ion batteries for cars since 2010. This is all great for Tesla until Toyota or other companies start to mass-produce solid-state batteries. At that time, Tesla will be no longer leading the global EV market. That's why they have invented their new tabless battery that was unveiled at the Battery Day event. This battery could allow Tesla to sell its cars more cheaply and give customers the confidence that the electric vehicles will last longer. According to Elon, at the time solid-state batteries begin mass production, we will see the 4680 battery compete in the same bracket as solid-state. But why are Elon and his company not planning to produce solid-state batteries? In Tesla's battery day, the presentation showed that the company would be developing the battery manufacturing infrastructure for the coming years, as the final product will be the backbone of Tesla's upcoming vehicle launches. This also means that the entire company's battery production hardware infrastructure is geared towards the production of cylindrical cells, though not all of the same size. This is where the difference between the two approaches really begins to set in. Solid-state batteries cannot be produced cylindrically. The reason is the notoriously brittle solid electrolytes, which would make rolling them into cylindrical cells impossible. It's like trying to roll glass into an incredibly tight cylinder. However, Tesla is already planning to cut down the price of their batteries by 56% from the current cost, which is $100 per kilowatt hour, while only a little is known about the manufacturing cost of solid-state batteries. But it has to be at least around Tesla's ranges to compete. Another big challenge Toyota is facing is the shorter lifespan of the solid-state battery, as they tend to fail after repeated charging. They need to figure out how to create an electrolyte that will not become deformed by simply charging and discharging the battery, leading to packing failure. QuantumScape claimed that they solved this in their research. In summary, solid-state batteries could be the perfect solution to help deliver the affordable, long-range electric vehicle and be truly enjoyable for all consumers. However, it has a long way to go before it can be implemented on a large scale. Costs will have to come down. The technology needs to be tested in real-world conditions, and the infrastructure needs to be improved. With so much money being invested in this new technology, it is likely that it will become a reality within the next few years. Therefore, it is only a matter of time before more research takes place and solid-state battery prices fall further as production increases. Then this new technology may well find its way into your EV very soon. In the end, there will be only one guaranteed winner in this race, the consumers.
EVs will be more enjoyable if you can charge them in 10 minutes to last for a thousand miles with low safety risks. If you enjoyed this, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.